Hello all, welcome back. In the previous lecture, we discussed about how to read the character and how to write the character. Then we discuss about how to read the integer and how to write the integer. Then we discuss about how to write the line and how to read the line. Now we will discuss about how to write the format wise data and how to read the format wise data. For example, suppose if you think that, sir, I have integer number is equal to 100. And suppose if you think that, sir, I have character CH is equal to capital A and I have float pi is equal to 3.14 F and I have character name of 20 is equal to, for example, Parag Shukla. Now, I want to write all this four into the file. How we can do this? So very simple. You can simply call the function that is f printf. So using the f printf, you can write the content into the file based on your format specifier. For example, I'm just declaring here file pointer fp. I want to write the content into the file. So I'm just calling here fp is equal to f open. Now here you can just give the name of your file. For example, name of my file is taste.txt. Now I want to write the content into this file first. Then I want to read the same. So I'm just calling here W plus. So it will first write the content into the file and then I want to read the same. So I'm just calling here FP is equal to F open. Here you can just close the file using the F close of F. Now I want to write this all variables that is integer character float and character array. Then you can just call the function that is f printf and here you can just pass percentage d. It means percentage d is used to write the number right. So here you can write percentage d then you can pass slash t then percentage c slash t percentage f and then you can write slash t and then you can write percentage s now here in the f printf there are three argument the first argument is in which file you want to do this and the second what you want to write and here you can just provide the name of your variable for example number belong to my this percentage d and ch is belong to this percentage c and this is my float variable so i'm just writing here pi and this is my character array so I'm just providing here name so whenever you do this you can simply compile your program and you can check whenever you run this your this data and that is what that is the number character pi and name will be written to your file that is test.txt and it will be stored into the same folder in which your this demo file is available so in my this folder that is demo 8.c the text file is created and here you can see that 100A 3.14 Parag Shukla, the value is written to the file. Now, suppose if you think that, sir, I want to read back the same. So, whenever you want to read back the same, you can just save this program, for example, demo 9. Now, I want to read the content. Whenever you want to read the content, I am just simply removing the value and I want the value over here in this particular variable. So, I am just simply removing the initialization now i want to read the same file back in the read mode now here instead of f printf you can call f scanf and whenever you are using the f scanf you need the address in which you want the data so i'm just calling here m person number m person ch m person pi and m person name so in this number variable in number variable the content from this file will be read into this number variable content of this file will be read into this ch variable that is percentage c percentage pi have the content of percentage f and percentage name will have the content of string and then you can simply call your printf function so i'm just calling here printf percentage d slash t percentage c slash t percentage f slash t percentage as and you can print your variable number ch pi and name whenever you run this particular code it will retrieve the content from the file see here 100 is the integer a is the character 3.14 is the floating point value and here i am getting only parag not 
the wall content why because i am using the percentage s and whenever you are writing the percentage s it will simply discard the value from the space you need to mention here we need to skip the data whenever you find the slash n so here in between the percentage and s here in a square bracket you can write not slash n whenever you write not slash n and whenever you run this program again now you will be able to fetch the data and you, if you look carefully then you can see here i fetch the data of integer character float as well as the name right and it is a full name so you can use the f printf and f scanf you can use the f printf to write the data into the file and you can use the f scanf to read the data from the file so that's it from my side if you like this video then please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you all thank you very much have a nice day